how we would make these sites to where they fit and they make us an average of five cents or more per click so that we could afford the clicks and make money off of them. Now, one of the offers that we have is the book found on ClickBank. So we'll put ClickBank book about fish, the beta fish book. Now this one pays me $17.98 per sale. So that means that if I get a sale every 100 clicks, I am now profiting $12.98. Right, And then, of course, if you got 500 clicks in a day, you know, it's going to do better that way. Now, a 1% conversion ratio uh, is pretty common, but sometimes it won't happen. So you want to test the market, and you want to test it slow and find out where the holes are, what words work, what words don't work, and you want to track it and test it and find out what's going to work for you. Another way is to look at the impressions versus the clicks that you get. Um, and if you're getting a whole lot of clicks but not a lot of sales, you might want to rephrase your ad to where it says something like, you know, buy the beta fish book or something like that. Right now I have it as a beta fish care guide. That's my title. So they come here and once they come to the site, we'll show you up on the screen, uh, the way that I'm going to design the site so that it gets the maximum conversion rate is going to be by giving them what they want first and putting offers and AdSense and things like that secondary. So uh, let's put the site up and we'll take a look here. Number one, when they get to the site, we see worried about your little blue friend. Click here for the beta care guide. So right off the bat, right from the market they came from, the ad that they clicked that told me that they were interested in coming to my site was beta fish care guide. So they're here. First thing they see is go to the beta fish care guide. See, your goal is to get as many people from your page to the beta fish care guide as possible so that you could get as many sales and as many clicks to that as possible. Now here's a tip. When you have this link here, you want to open it with a blank tag. And what that's going to do is that's going to open it in a new window. So it's actually going to open a new internet browser on their screen with the book with your affiliate code. That way if they say, hey, I don't want to buy a book, this is a bunch of junk, they click the X, they're back on your site, they could still make you money somehow. So again, now I have a picture of a beta to get their attention further. I have a uh, picture of a couple of betas in a bowl or a, uh, a glass. And then I highlight what the book's going to teach them if they buy it. Uh, I put a little quote about the fish, which is actually a true quote. Uh, my wife had a goldfish that was uh, 14 years old. And I thought that was pretty cool because mine had only lasted a weekend. Um, then we have our special offer for beta lovers. Now this special offer usually pays for the click costs every day because what it does is it's giving them a freebie for participating. They participate in offers and market tests and they get a gift card uh, for whatever it is. And see now this company pays me on a submission of a zip code. And once they hit submit, it pops up the window with their zip code already on the next page where I'm going to get paid. And what that does is he's going to pay me each time someone puts their zip code in there because he knows that you know out of 100 people who do the zip code, he makes a certain amount. So he's got that down to a science, and he's willing to pay people like me and you for a simple zip code submission. We have another link down here, which is based on a search term I found uh, that people were typing in. And that says, having trouble with beta fin rot. Click here for help. They click there. It opens up the book in a new window, gives them another chance to look at it and buy. Again, I have beta fish pictures, which will take them to Google Images, where they can look at pictures of beta fish, and that opens in a new window so they don't leave. Beta fish illnesses explained, that takes them to a healthy beta site, and it shows them some of the things they can do to diagnose their fish's problems. Again, opens in a new window. They never leave my site. And at the bottom, we now have our AdSense ads, which are people who pay you each time someone clicks on their ad, just like you're paying uh, Google or Yahoo to get clicks to your site. They're paying to get clicks to their site, and you get a portion of that. So off of all these things, we now have we have the book. That's our first way to get paid. 
we have our uh, let's see here we have our offer the zip code offer that's our second way we can get paid and then the third way we could get paid is off of the AdSense ads which will pay you per click so when you design sites keep in mind that you want to make it simple and you want to give the user what they want right away in addition to giving them offers and sometimes with specialty sites let's say you were a, a big beta fish lover I don't know much about beta fish it's just a market I chose um, but let's say you did a little research and you found 10 things that beta fish have and you could say you know enter your name and email to get the top 10 beta problems um, and what you can do to help your fish that way you'll start building a database of people who are interested in beta fish and you can market to them over and over and over again you can even become an affiliate for a pet store and and get them to buy products that way or you know whatever it is but the chances are you can start something really good by doing the simple sites method making your site simple making it what they want up front putting your images or putting your links in a blank tag so they never leave your basic page and doing it that way Okay, as we close up this chapter, I'd like to go over some website quick tips. And these are design tips to get you the most profit and to get people to actually like the design and the layout of your page. Number one, as you've heard all throughout this, is make it easy. Make it easier for them to read. Make it easy to look at. Make a nice background that's easy to look at and things like that. Number two, make it clean. Don't clutter it with a bunch of junk. Don't put a bunch of text that's too hard to read and too hard on the eyes. Number three, no more than three offers. You see pages all out there with tons and tons of banners and a bunch of junk, and you probably leave them as quickly as I do because it just looks horrible, and it kind of dampens your respect for the page because it's kind of like they're just throwing stuff out there to make money off you and that's what it's really screaming is, is make money off me and you don't want a whole lot of offers that compete with each other because if the guys get confused they're gonna leave and that brings us to number four is don't confuse them don't give them too many choices so they make none and just leave uh, number five point out the benefits fast show them what's in it for them because everyone cares most about what are they going to get being there what's this going to provide for them whether it be entertainment whether it be something of value whether it be saving money whether it be free tips whatever it is point out the benefits fast and put them in a way that's going to say hey look keep reading because you're going to get this uh, fill out this form because you're going to get this and last Number six, give them the info that they're looking for. If they're looking for mortgage calculators, give them a mortgage calculator. If they're looking for pet grooming tips, give them pet grooming tips. If they're looking to learn to tie a tie, link them to a YouTube video with how to tie a tie or link them to a site about it. You can advertise ties as well as link them, but you know, do that first. Okay, now we're going to go over ad writing tips and pay-per-click secrets. Now, keep in mind that over the years, I've had millions and millions and millions of visitors from pay-per-click search engine advertising. So pay close attention to these tips, and they're going to help you do really well. Ad writing tip number one, keep it honest. Don't say something's free if it's not free. Don't uh, lie don't do anything shady you know really tell them what's on the site and if it's gonna cost them money you can tell them that as a way to pre-qualify them number two use the keywords in your ad like the beta fish site beta fish care guide that uses the keywords and it tells them what they're gonna get they're gonna get a beta fish care guide and as a result of being that targeted we got a killer percentage rate of 25 percent um, and in some areas 17 percent and 10 percent um, but that's very good number three if you want to be sure that you're not going to spend a whole lot of money on people who don't want to buy like for example if you went uh, tie a tie uh, a guide about how to tie your tie fast and it's nine dollars but you don't want people who just want a free guide then you can put Tie, tie tying secrets, that's kind of a tongue twister. Tie secrets, tie tying secrets, 995 free video or, or, or uh, 
995 for a video, 995 for 